to see, or where do you want to see yourself in the next four years? Okay, in the next four years. If, um, okay, in the next four years, I have a lot of dreams and aspirations. So I, ha I would like to really open a chain of restaurants. That is one of my biggest desires, to open a chain of restaurants and also to open some form of culinary schooling here in Dominica because, you know, we lack this and we don't have it and there's nothing to certify any of our local chefs here in Dominica. So that's actually what I want to see happen for me and my life. Wow. Why, what, what is the most important thing to you right now? The most important thing to me right now is living a life that I can be proud of. Becoming the best version of myself, you know, um, I want when my son or my daughter, whenever I give birth, to be proud of their mom, he or she mom. You understand? I want to put myself in the position to give her the opportunities that I never had. I want to be able to, you know, finance this young lady's business, finance this young man's education. You know, and you understand? That's my dream. And I want to leave a legacy behind so that I can never be forgotten. So that's my dream, yeah. Why is that so important to you? Because I feel like if I don't get this done, then my time here, it didn't make any sense. My job was not done. So I want to be here, get my job done, and get out. That's it. Because I'm not here forever. You're so confident. I so admire your confidence. I admire your, 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 your drive. I admire your spirit. Uh, and I can only see big things for you. You have an amazing personality. I, I cannot see why somebody would not love to work with you, you know, and I hope that somebody out there is listening because, you know, this program is on digital platform in 30 countries and hopefully somebody's listening. They say, they, they contact Rian and they say, yes, we have a chef for you. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have. I love the fact that you're so positive, uh, and I and I commend you. But not only you, I commend your your parents because it's it's evident that your family's support has really helped you mold to mold you to the person that you are today. So I must also commend your family because without them, like you yourself say, you know they, they've given you a lot of strength and they've encouraged you a lot. What is next for you, Joy? What is next for me? What is next for you, Joanne? Okay, so right now, I sent myself back to school. Well, you know, right now, school is on a pause. I call Kepinski my school. Mm -hmm. I found two great teachers there, Chef Sassy and Chef Hilroy, and they have been helping me and molding me into the person that I am becoming. So I sent my ba myself back to school seeing that I didn't have what it takes to go to culinary school in America or so on and so forth. So after that, I plan to make my dreams come true. So that's what's next for me. So after my schooling at Kepinski, I will continue when they reopen. And after that, I will make sure that every I will open my chain of restaurants in Jesus' name. I will hope, help, or I will be a founder of a culinary school in Dominica in Jesus' name. So that's what's next for me, JL. Yes. Oh my God, you are so super confident. I just wanna go through the comments um, of, of the f folks who've been, who've been messaging. There's so many messages. I, like, I, cannot, even, I cannot even count. I, I'm gonna just start randomly. Um, so someone by the name of um, Nika Green says, yes, yes, Joy. As uh, somebody, um, your sister is saying that's a fact. Daddy taught her well. Then there's um, Sparkling Sherry says, all rounder. That's my girl. Um, then we have Irv Matthew. Uh, we don't have, we know everything already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Emily, uh, that's MO News. Um, she is asking, do you do catering? So that's a question from, from MO News. Well, I can do caterings, but um, it's not a thing that I like advertise and so on and so forth. If someone sends me a personal message and asks me to, then yes, I will do it for them. Once I have the time, yes, once I have the time, I, I will and I 
but it's another thing that is out there that I advertise and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, somebody else is saying, um, Mac Truck Jew is saying, one thing you're looking like your meals there. <laughs> I, <didn't... laughs> I guess that's a compliment. <laughs> um, somebody saying, we're opening drive by uh, on a bigger platform. Um, Emily, I'm always saying again, um, okay, that's something else she's, she's talking about. Let's, let's continue. They've had, they have, they're not having a private conversation. <laughs> Kudos to you, um, for including Dominica within your goals. So many times young people forget the countries and the places that gave them so much. So that's lady is, is saying that, um, to you, um, Elvis Norida, actually you mentioned that that was the first time you actually saw me was at Elvis's um, shack, um, at the shack, at the shack. The shack. Um, that's where, because I used to come there for, for breakfast, and Elvis is saying, congrats, Joy Joanne, the sky is the limit. So so Elvis, she did say, you know, that's where she, she saw me for the very first time um, in Dominica. Uh, somebody else is saying, uh, let me just, I'm just trying to get to some of the, some of the, the new comments. Um, What's your next passion besides cooking, Joanne? That's uh, Benja Icebox Stewart is asking. What is your, do you have any other passions besides cooking? You want me to be honest? Be honest, this is what this is about. That's my only passion. I mean, I can do other things, but I don't have the love and the feel for the other things like I have the love and the feel for cooking. So, I've tried other things. I've been, I have worked at Samaritan Spurs. I've worked at Clare Harbor. I've been work. I've worked in offices. I've worked different places. I just don't have the taste for it. That's my. That's the love of my life, and that's what I'm sticking to. And I don't want to hear about anything else except cooking, the kitchen, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> Someone saying, Chef Joy, and I'm so proud of you. Um, Thank you. Somebody's uh, Kimani saying, "Employ me at your restaurant." <laughs> Kimani saying, <laughs> saying, "Employ me." Um, the youth. Uh, oh, okay. I'm just going through the the other message. Wilma is saying, "You are super, super confident. I admire your spirit. Definitely, you do have a really, really, really good spirit." Um, so I must comment. There are lots of comments. I wish I could see the questions in all of the comments because there's so many comments coming through um yes my niece your auntie tell telly so proud of you you go girl and give god will give you the desires of your heart that is uh, your auntie um yes. in that um some um lady is also saying please don't leave without giving a word of advice to young ladies who think they cannot make their dreams come true um through though because of the fact that they don't see their way through their struggles so um, that's a good thing that I, I pulled that one out. Um, so do you have any advice for other young ladies? What's your advice for, for other young ladies? Oh, yes, I have a lot of advice that I can give, but I'll give this one. Okay, sometimes it gets really rough. Sometimes you feel down. Sometimes you even feel like you lose yourself and like you feel like giving up. But really and truly, we have a mission to complete. And we need to complete the mission, no matter what happens, no matter what it takes. Keep on praying, stay on your knees. Read your Bible, Psalms 23, Psalms 21. These are two scripture verses that keep me going every day. You understand me? It's never too late, no matter how old you are. You may find, like, I'm almost 40 and I, I haven't ha accomplished anything. There are people older than you still following their dreams still following their dreams so keep pushing just keep pushing i i you you may not have any handouts you may not have any money there are a lot of things to keep us back every time we are trying to push to our goals and that's life these are the things that makes us who we are these are the things that makes us stronger just we just have to keep our mind strong yeah that's about it be ambition, be determined. If one thing doesn't work for you, if you have been trying this one thing for 20 years, 10 years, five years, and it's not working for you, find something else that can make it happen for you. 
And don't ever, ever let anybody tell you that you are not good enough because you are just enough. You are perfect enough for God. And that's my advice. <laughs> I love it. I love it, guys. Yeah, you heard it. Uh, I mean, she said it all. Like, I could, I could just give you the show. People are telling you you should have your own cooking show. Um, and I think you have the personality for it. So I hope that people are, are seeing this. I wish I was in Dominica. I would put you on a cooking show myself. I would do it because I think you have you have a, a very infectious personality and you'd be able to connect with your audience. You need your own show, point blank period, you know? And and I hope that that someone out there is, is seen and, you know, and, and, and they're, 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 they're willing to, to reach out and, and give you your own show because I think you have a, a really, really amazing story. And I think you can empower people because you're so positive. You're so positive. And you're going to go far. You're going to go far. You're going to remember a few years down the line. And I've given you too many years, not a few I've given you. You know, <laughs> a few years down the line, you're going to say, I remember when I was on Kako Tea, right? I remember when I was on Kako Tea. And I didn't think it would happen so soon, but I knew it was going to happen. You're going to go very far. Your positivity, because you will you will attract exactly what you put out. Just keep putting out that positive vibes. Your, your, I think your dad is there somewhere. I think your dad just commented somewhere. Let, let, let's see what your dad is saying. Your dad just commented, and I want to pull that up um, because he just he just shared something. He goes, I am proud of you, my love. Wow. <laughs> that is good. I, I'm almost getting teary eyed. <laughs> it's so good to see you have so much support. And I wish you honestly, I've been watching you from behind. And I wish you so much. I wish you get everything that you desire. You're an amazing young woman. And you've inspired so many people in such a short space of time. And I really, really, really wish you all the best. You're an amazing individual. And I keep doing you. You're going to get, it's not going to take long. You're going to get a lot of good things coming your way. A lot, a lot of good things coming. And we keep doing you. And thank you so very much for giving me time to come on my show you know a lot of times i know you try and make me feel all kind of way my child so i used to listen to you you know you try and make me feel a type of way and i feel like like i'm in so much awe of your presence you know you have an amazing presence and keep doing you good things are gonna happen only good things only the best things thank you jl I don't want to be crying on the live and stuff. You know, I'm very emotional and sensitive. So um, just thank you. I don't know how to tell you thank you again. I've maybe told you thank you more than five times already, right? <laughs> yeah. That's, <how> <laughs> that's, that's how much the opportunity is special to me. And I'm very grateful, you understand? Because I've been through a lot and it's been a real struggle. And it's been a struggle. It's been a hustle. It's been a bustle. And the way things are happening right now, it's kind of scary. I was a bit scared to come on the show also. It's kind of scary but because, you see, when we're going through struggles, we don't ever think that one day it will get better. Even if we say it, we don't believe it. You understand? So when I have to sit back and see things happening for me now, after all what I've been through, I, it's like I'm content. I I am emotional. And I just want to give thanks. You understand? I mean, I'm not the I'm not the best person on earth. I'm not the most perfect person on earth. I make mistakes. I do wrong, but God is choosing me, and it has been a very it has been great meeting you, JL. And I want to tell you thank you because you don't know what this can do for me. Well, you do know what it can do for me, actually. You more than know what it can do for me. And, and because of the because of this blessing, you will ten blessing blessings in tenfolds for you, JL, and your family and your children. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you guys to all those of you who came on. 
Um, I want to encourage you guys to share the life. I want to keep doing more shows like this. I really want to feature more, but I've always had a love for young people, especially my own people. You know, so many things I've tried to do, you know, in Dominica, where it, where it relates, as it relates to young people. And I want to keep doing it, even though I'm far, I want to keep giving y'all a space that you can come and you can talk about what you do, how you do it, and how you get to where you get to, and your trials and your triumphs, and we'll laugh and we'll we'll cry a little bit. I cannot believe I'm crying. The last time I cried on this show was a very very long time ago, <laughs> but um, it was it was an honor having you on here, and I want to encourage other young people. They could reach out to me, you know. I I'm I'm not that hard to talk to, right, right, Jaya? No, 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 no. But that's. <laughs> Right. Uh, you can reach out to me um, and let me know if you're interested in being on the show. If you feel that you have a special something and you could sh and you want to share and you want to inspire others, because that I feel like that is what we've been put on this earth to do is to empower, inspire, help each other, you know, and 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 just and just just make magic, make beautiful things happen, right? And I I really appreciate. The time, those of you who came on, the time that you've given me, you know, um, on your Saturday, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you were here with Joanne and myself here on the quarantine. They're in the best mix. <laughs> you have to hear too much. Uh, quarantine, have them on lock. <laughs> they don't have a choice. I hope that I can continue to bring this uh, content to you guys. Uh, thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Remember to share the live if you haven't done so yet. Until next time, Joanne, all the best to you. Take care. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks again, guys, for the opportunity. I will be back in on your favorite show in a few days, sometime next week. Yes, Easter weekend. You guys in Dominica will still be in curfew. So hope to see you guys then. Until next time, have an awesome day.